Hi, it's Kayla Ambrose here, and welcome back to the Kayla Ambrose Show, where I serve here as your host and your travel guide to the other side. And along the way, I'll be discussing lots of metaphysical, spiritual, paranormal, and supernatural topics. One of the things I'd like to do in this podcast is answer some of my Ask Kayla questions. If you go on my website, exploreyourspirit.com, you can go to the contact section and send me an email. And a lot of people do this where they send me an Ask Kayla question. And I respond sometimes on my blog there, but I'd also like to respond to some of those questions here on my podcast. So if you have a question you've been wanting to know about anything uh, metaphysical in nature, go ahead and send it in there. And the ones that are getting the most traction, that are getting the most interest, people writing in similar questions, those are the ones I'll try to address the most. So with that, today I want to do an Ask Kayla question, and it's about numerology. I'm getting asked by so many people, what are angel numbers? What does it mean when I say 1111 or 1212 or numbers and threes like 333 or 444? So I've had this question asked a lot, so I'm like, let me address this one now. So let's talk about numerology a little bit. So numbers and really mathematics is kind of the formula to the universe and how it works. Now, we live on the earth plane here in this dimension, and so the earth plane has a set of mathematics assigned to it, which affect how everything works. If you've studied sacred geometry at all, which uh, I can't discuss in depth here in this podcast, but I'll try to remember that and and do a podcast about sacred geometry, because it's fascinating with the Fibonacci sequence, if you've studied that, and how everything in nature works in alignment with mathematics, and uh, it can be divided into numbers. Numbers really are the language of the universe and how everything works. So on the earth plane here, from the way the earth is tilted on its axis, to everything that's created, every flower, every seed, every everything the human body, everything is created through mathematics and numbers. And we are aligned to act and react according to these numbers and according to how they affect us in the physical plane here that we call the earth plane. And the more you study this from how everything is aligned in nature to how it affects you, it, it's really astounding. Um, just how great and amazing everything here was designed to work together in kind of a synchronicity. So when we begin to understand this and focus on numbers, we sometimes will notice these effects. Uh, If you're into mathematics and science, of course, you see this all the time. But if you're a metaphysician, you're working to understand your spiritual evolution, your spiritual growth, you're in the field of metaphysics, looking to understand physics in that way, um, you begin to notice it through numbers and how it works. And maybe you do work, like I said, in sacred geometry and noticing sequences like that. But usually when you're first starting out, what you'll notice is that you notice numbers like 1111 keeps coming up on your, on your clock, or you see a certain number or pattern of numbers over and over and over. So numbers help the subconscious. They help open your passageways to first understanding and accepting that there's more than what you might have realized going on in the world and that the universe is actually connected and wanting to contact you. So when you're fully conscious, when you're fully awake, when you're really in your intuition for most of the time, you won't need to see these numbers to remind you of things. You'll be so what we call in the flow that you're aligned and you get your messages intuitively. So you won't need to go, oh, it's 1111. There's someone trying to contact me. There's a message coming through. I better pay attention. You'll just get the messages they come through all through the day and night. There won't be something needed to jumpstart your subconscious like seeing those numbers do. But for now, when you're working and you're trying to understand and you're growing spiritually, these numbers are a big help because they kind of jolt you out of your, let's call it your 
your lower consciousness where you're just going about your day, doing what you have to do. You're kind of on autopilot for a lot of things. And then when you see something out of the blue like this, it awakens your conscious mind and it steps you into your super consciousness and makes you wake up and pay attention and say something's going on and to open up to that vibrational energy. And so you will be sent messages like this from the other side to kind of do that, to jumpstart and to awaken you. Sometimes it's numbers. For other people, it may be seeing a certain animal or a certain animal comes to you at at specific times, delivering a message to you. For other people, it's other messages and messengers. Someone will say something that triggers something for them. Uh, A person, it may be a stranger they don't even know, but they say just the thing. Or they read a certain phrase in a book and that phrase is really meaningful and it awakens them to that. Whichever one it is, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps you stay aware and open to getting this information. Your higher self, the part of you that remains on the other side and then drops down and, and communicates through you here on the earth plane, knows when you're ready to grow. It knows when you need to pay attention to something, and it's always there trying to help you, along with your guides and other messengers. So if it knows that that's what will get you to pay attention, then that's how it will choose to communicate. And regardless of the number, what it's saying is, wake up, wake up, now's the time to pay attention. And so I use numerology when reading people, Uh, because I look to see what numbers follow them or what numbers they're aligned with. I do astrology as well as numerology, and I'm also a certified traditional feng shui master. So in that, you do Chinese astrology as well, and you look at the sequences in that way with numbers. In numerology, you look at birth dates, you look at numbers and patterns that people are drawn to, you look at the addresses where they live, and you find that people will sometimes follow a pattern that they'll live in uh, places where the addresses either have the same numbers in the address or when you add them up they're very similar and that can show the life path that a person is on where they're at and what they came here to learn and if they're growing or not and where it's at so I want to address some of the most common questions I've gotten here in the Ask Kayla about numbers and what they mean and the first one is one that I really uh, love and don't get asked that often but it's such a great question I had to include it and that is someone who wrote in and said I wake up a lot in the middle of the night between 3 and 4 a.m. what does this mean is this a good thing a bad thing what's going on well I have to say if that happens to you be very excited so Three o'clock, or the time three o'clock, and the number three is a very magical number. And what happens is that for most of the world, we are asleep at whatever time is 3 a.m. for us. And as I mentioned, numbers affect the earth plane with vibration. And even to the way the earth is tilted on its axis uh, and the degrees that we're at. Now, three is used uh, in a lot of master things to be a 33 degree, and something means to attain a certain level of enlightenment and mastery. When you wake up between three and four o'clock, especially between three and 345, what's happening at that time for every person asleep at that time is you're getting a download of information from the universe and from your higher self. And when we are getting upgrades, when we are getting information we need at a soul level, when we are getting implants that we need, when we are getting seeds of information that need to be implanted in us to help us to grow and evolve, this is when it occurs. When we sleep at night, we go to the other side. Uh, We leave our body and part of our consciousness goes to the other side And we gather information that we need and we check in about our growth and how we're doing. And because of the orientation of the way the earth is tilted and everything numerologically that we're aligned to on the earth plane, it's that time at three o'clock when we open wide. This is kind of a deep esoteric concept to explain. So let me just break it down into an easy to understand that it's just a gateway. 
and it's in alignment with mathematics and numbers and vibration. And so from 3 to 3.45, we are very open to receive information and to have information downloaded into us. So it's like we're high-speed internet at that time within our aura. And so the cords in the aura open, and the aura is at a vibration where it's very easy to accept energy. And so the universe at that time uses that high-speed internet-type portal of energy to download that. So if you wake up during that time between, say, 3 and 3.45, Lie there quietly and see if you can tune in to see what information is being downloaded into you. You may also want to drink a glass of water, um, letting that water be part of the conscious energy, that vibration that will help you absorb as well. And if you notice anything, if you're aware of any thoughts or you awoke from a dream, make sure to try to write it down. And look at it in the the clear light of day in the next day and see what information you may get from it. It's a very powerful sacred time. If you're more advanced and you want to go further with this, then you could meditate at that time if you wake up and ask to clearly see the information that's being sent to you. You don't have to be unconscious to receive it. It's just for most people, that's where they're at. And so being unconscious from 3 to 3.45 in the morning is the most uh, easy and open time for them and for their mind to be asleep and resting and not trying to overthink it in order for this information to be downloaded and to come through. Okay, so let's talk about these numbers and what they kind of mean energetically, what their vibration is, and so that you understand a little bit more about what they mean. First is the number zero, and that is to come full circle. It is the void. It is the circle of life. It's eternity, and it's full of potential. Anything can happen. You're at a new journey. This is why in mathematics, zero does not add or subtract. It just is. The number one is leadership. It's a very masculine number. It means strength and confidence. It's independence. It's about the individual. It means new beginnings as well and personal power. The number two is a feminine number, and it means duality. It's partnership. It can be, it's at its best, it's being in balance. At its worst, it's in complete opposition. When it's balanced, it's a good connection between the masculine and the feminine. And when it's unbalanced, it's very destructive. Uh, to picture the number two, energetically, it would be like seeing the yin and the yang symbol. Three, which I discussed a little bit here, is all about manifestation. The number three is luck and success and intuition. It's magic. It's creativity. Uh, it's a fun number. It's, it's the power of three, mind, body, spirit, land, sea, and sky. It's bringing those three together. It's the triangle energy. It's creating that energy and moving it upward. Number four is conscious energy in the self. It is grounded. It's stable. It's a square is a symbol. So it's building a foundation. It's where we create material wealth and material reality in the earth plane. It's the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. It's the four directions, east, west, north, and south. It's how we gather those forces together and create these foundations and grounding here on the earth plane. Five is the number of freedom and travel and adventure, and it connects the four elements with the fifth aspect of spirit. So it lifts us from the ground and takes us into new adventures. It helps us overcome challenges and conflict. Five can be very protective. Five is used in symbols of protection, including an apple. If you cut an apple in half, you'll see the five sections there where the seeds are, and that's often used for protection. The number six is intuition, and it's taking the number three and and raising it a notch. It's taking all the energy of the three below and adding the energy of the three above, 
between earth and spirit, as above, so below. It's creating harmony and healing, and it's a number of service to humanity. It brings forth psychic abilities, and that is where we get the sixth sense. The number seven is spiritual awakening, and it really connects to synchronicity. It's our intellect and our personal growth connected with metaphysics in that study. There are seven colors that we really resonate with here in the rainbow. And so it connects us with that energy of all the spectrums. The number eight connects us with universal energy. It's abundance and prosperity. It's finances. It's manifesting your goals and your businesses. It's also turned on its side the number of infinity. So the energy that you put into something is what you will get back returned to you. Number nine is a higher consciousness number. It's wisdom, it's enlightenment, it's selfless, it's closure, it's in service to humanity, it's completion. And nine was represented by the ancient Greeks as the nine muses, bringing all of the arts and creativity uh, and inspiration to humanity. 10 is bringing the one and the zero together. And so it's bringing that wholeness back and integration. It's the journey completed when we go back into being the individual again, coming full circle. 11 is aligned to space and time here on earth. 11 is a spiritual messenger. It affects our destiny. It's aligned with our destiny. And it's the epitome of a master number here on the earth plane. There are 11 dimensions that we really work with and understand from our perspective here as humans on the earth plane. And so when we see 1111, that is the gateway opening between earth and the other side. Uh, It's a symbol of the divine feminine, and it's a symbol to those who see it as it's time to make a change, that there is a shift happening from from one aspect of ourselves to another. The portal is open, this information is coming through, and it's time for us to wake up, pay attention, and to make a big change as needed. And that's because those are the dimensions that are available to us. So that's coming from the highest dimension, the 1111. Now, when we move into 12, we're in what's called cosmic order. We're in the solar cycle of 12. This is where astrology is based on the the 12 years, the 12 signs of astrology. It is that cosmic order. 12 begins, once you go beyond 12, you begin to dissolve. When you're working up between 1 to 11, you're on an evolutionary cycle and you're evolving upward, moving more and more into a deeper understanding as a human being here on the earth plane as a soul. Once you go 12 and beyond, you begin to dissolve, meaning that you're being removed from the earth plane. Those numbers before that indicate that you are less of a physical being here on earth, and you're moving more into the other planes of existence and won't be spending time here on the earth plane and under the universal laws um, and rules of existence here on this earth plane. So 11 is about where we go here as a society, a group of people. If you see 1212, it's a reminder to be positive and to stop thinking and start doing now. It's all about at at that level, having trust, having faith and taking action now. And life, the purpose of life is trying to get your attention at this moment. It's time to look at your relationships. It's time to transform those relationships and fully open the heart chakra. It means that the evolutionary cycle is near to you, that angels are near, that the 1212 is the movement from this portal into other dimensions. So really, like I said, once we move beyond the number 11, we're really moving into more non-physical, into the higher realms of energy and vibration. So these numbers create a synchronicity and meaningful connections. And spirit is again trying to tell you these messages from the higher self. 
this has been taught since ancient times. Uh, the ancient Greeks taught this. The philosopher Pythagoras. You maybe heard about this, the Pythagorean theory. Um, and Pythagoras taught that all numbers have different vibrational properties. And all these theories were based on that. The Hebrew Kabbalah from thousands of years ago teaches this as well and explains those numbers. If you've ever studied Kabbalah, you see the importance of all of these numbers. Just to touch back on 1111 for a minute, when you see this, spirit guides and other messengers are attempting to contact you. And this is a true gateway between the veils. It's intuition and enlightenment. And it shows that either you're on the right path and things are opening up, or if things aren't going well for you at this time, it's a wake-up call. It's saying time to, to tune in and wake up and get ready for experiences that are coming to you that are going to try to help you evolve. They could also be a, a preclude towards a dark night of the soul where you really have to go within and work through everything that you're ready to release at this time. When you begin to see 1111 often, you may also be having prophetic dreams or seeing shapes or animals or other things that really get your attention. The doorway is opening for you and there are probably big encounters heading your way. Now, whether you call them positive or negative will depend on where you're at, what you're working on and how you're opening to the experiences. Touching into the triple numbers, 333 three, three means mind, body, spirit. This means it's time to take action to achieve your goals. It's the Trinity times three, which means there's an ascension happening with this. There are beings ready to help from the highest realms, bringing the power of three times three into magical being. Your mind, body, and spirit is aligning and it's time to, to get out more, to create more, to socialize more, and to use that power of three um, to know that all things are possible, and now's the time to be creative. If you're seeing 444, that's a symbol of protection. That means that you're grounded, and that success is able to come on the way, but also that you are being protected. It's the number aligned with with the archangels the four archangels so when you see 444 there's protection needed for some reason you're to trust that you are being protected and that you're strong enough to handle whatever's coming your way when you see this number know that all is well in regards to protection but it's also time for you to go into prayer and meditation to be clear on what you want if you see 555 that's the number of change Big changes are coming. It's just a real clear number. It's time to change. Those changes are coming now. Uh, you don't really get to prepare any further. You should have already prepared before you see this number. If you see 666, it's not what you've been told to believe or told to fear to believe. It is mind, body, and spirit. It is the alignment. It is moving you from fear and negative thinking and being caught up in the material part of being an earth person into raising your vibration to become a more spiritual thinking person. It was meant to explain that when you see that number, that you're in your lower self and you're not doing what you should and could be doing in your higher vibration. So it's a reminder to get out of your material self and your lower self and your ego and get into higher vibration. When you see 777, lucky seven, you have clear vision. You're ready to accept your purpose and know that what your true purpose is in life is going to be revealed to you soon and that you're ready to walk the talk and to be a light worker and to make a difference in the world. This is the number of synchronicity. If you see 888, that is balance and responsibility, just like we talked about with the eight. But because it is coming in threes, it means that great success is heading your way and that the universe is helping it to come. Be still and be ready and know that the universe is directing this energy to your attention now. If you see 999, it's time to celebrate 
and know that a completion is coming. Now, it means that congratulations, you've graduated. There, But with graduating, that means there's an ending. When you graduate school, it's a wonderful achievement, but it's also an ending to that journey. So when you see 999, it's time to celebrate the com completion and to welcome in the new. It's time to forgive and let go. It's time to heal. And that there may be an ending coming to you soon, uh, especially in a relationship with these three nine. It is the number of completion. The same principles apply with one one one, the individual and the journey you're on, or two two two. Same thing with a relationship. Okay, wow, well, just like that, time has flown again. And here we are with another podcast in the bag. So I tried to answer as quickly as I could some of the meanings of numbers, but as you see, we could keep going. There's so much with the magic of numbers. And if it costs you, you should really look into numerology and sacred geometry, especially to get to know more. You could practice with this today. You could just put the numbers between 1 and 12, uh, write them on pieces of paper, tear the pieces of paper uh, into little strips, fold them and put them in a bowl. And then once a day, draw a paper from the bowl and see what number it is. And then you'll know from the definitions here what the universe is trying to help you understand with that number. And keep an eye out if you do see those other numbers. Also, you can follow numerology and add up the month, day, and year of your birth and keep adding and dividing until it's a single number. Let's say your birthday is 2020. You were born a short time ago. So the zeros, as you know, don't count. So you would add the two and two, and that's four. That's an easy one to add uh, and to break apart. If it's a higher number, then you just you keep adding. So let's do a little more challenging number. I'm going to try to do this math in my head. So if I'm not right, I know someone will let me know. But let's say your birthday is 1996. You would add the numbers together. So I always add the numbers that are easy to add together in my head. So for me, I'd add the six and the one, which is seven, and the two nines, which are 18. So 18 and seven is 25. And then you add the two and the five together for seven. So seven is the number for your year. Then you would keep going. So if you were born in January, the number for that month is a one. So that would be eight. Seven plus one is eight. And then if you were, say, born on the 2nd of January, you would add a two, which would bring you to 10. So you could look at 10, but you'd really even break it down further into a one and know that this is a real individual lifetime for you, for you to pursue things as an individual with your independence and getting to know yourself at that level. And so that's an easy, quick way of how you can do a little bit of numerology. I hope this has been of help to you today and that you've learned a little more about numerology uh, and the numbers and what spirit is trying to say to you. If you're enjoying these podcasts, please click on the subscribe button below so you don't miss any new episodes. Also, please go to my website, exploreyourspirit.com, and sign up for my free newsletter, where you'll get information about upcoming podcasts, topics that I'm blogging and writing about, new classes that I'm teaching, and much more. Thanks.